Hi everyone, this is Laurels, here with a new episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we finally faced the ferocious flying legendary on top of Mount Ember, Moltres, and caught him, named him Cert, and now we're nowhere near the Sevi Islands, since there's nothing left to do on there right now, until the after game, which I will be covering. Anyway, I'm here on Route 20, on the Fuchsia City side. Using the town map for once. Okay, I started out at Fuchsia City and went down south to Route 19, and then surfed along all the way here, and we're heading towards the Seafoam Islands, which are actually just like right next to where I am. But first... Just a little recap, all my Pokémon now are level 45, which is different because last time Olmec was my strongest at level 44, and the rest of them are all level 43. That's because I finally fought all of the trainers off-screen, well, from the Sevi Islands. Well, the three islands. Ugh, I keep calling them Sevi even though there's only three so far. Whatever, that's what you're supposed to call them. Anyway, let's continue on. And now we're on the Seafoam Islands. You're gonna- there's actually two entrances into the Seafoam Islands. One over here from Cinnabar Island side, and then one from Fuchsia City side. You want to go through the Fuchsia City side. Because, well, if you go through the exit here, because this is the exit to- from the Seafoam Islands. Ugh. It leads to a dead end, and you can't get anywhere, so that's why you have to start off here. Now, just as a reminder, you want to go to the Seafoam Islands, making sure you have a Pokémon with the with the HM move Strength taught on it, or else you won't get very far in all of this. Ah, swimmers sprites. I always found it weird that the swimmers, when you face them in battle, they have like blonde hair, but in the water they have green hair. That says so much, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm blonde too. I can't go in the water without getting green hair. Anyway, we're now in the Seafoam Islands, and I'm going to get totally lost because I don't have a map up. Give me a second. <laughs> that loud thunk was me, like, putting up the map. Okay! Now we're finally in the Seafoam Islands, and I'm ready to go. One new Pokémon can actually be found here, technically two if you count its evolutionary state, and that Pokemon is Seal. Seal is a water type Pokemon, and it looks like a, well, a derpy seal. Though I have to keep in mind that, well, creating character designs is hard, and I would, and I have to tip my hat to the designers. If I had to come up with a mythical beast of, ima of unimaginable power, I would not think of a seal. But anyway, Seal evolves into Dugong at level 34, turning into a Water Ice type. Dugong is a fairly good bulky water type, and I've used it once before. Hmm. If you can teach it Toxic and Ice Beam, this defensive wall can deal tons of damage while also just bouncing off attacks of the other opponents. Now there's one other Pokemon in here that I'm going to try to catch, but... ah. Repels! Silly slowpoke. Okay then, gotta repel up. Ah, item right here. Got an ice heal, which is actually pretty helpful since most of the Pokemon you'll be fighting... Well, actually no. Not most of the Pokemon you'll be fighting here. Weird. Anyway, we found the main mechanic of this, like, dungeon right here. These little, like, strength boulders here have to be pushed down these holes. Sounds like that worked. <laughs> it's kind of funny that the slowpoke timed in just perfectly with that. Now, I think you can go down the ladders and see how the boulders are supposed to be handled, but might as well get the second one in as well, so that way we don't have to come back up here again. Woo! There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. 
You have to continue pushing- oh darn it, come on. That's one thing I don't like, you have to keep up setting up strength every floor. Down you go. Uh, as far as I know, you can't get back up. Oh, here's an item here. Got one revive right here. I don't know, I can't take the, like, theme for this dungeon too seriously. It sounds way too cute. Uh, super repels. Do. Do. Okay, so how's everyone's day going? Uh, mine's seem mine's kind of doing all right. Uh, today's Friday when I'm recording this episode, and I just had like a really stressful day of school where I was just like, I can't even, and I just basically like had like my had a good cry. You have to let your like emotions out every once in a while, or else you go completely crazy, and no one wants that. No one wants crazy. But yeah, it was a little stressful, but hey, I wanted to go to art school, and that's what's happening here. It's my first semester, I'll get the hang of it, I'll get better. Okay, got that boulder down the next floor. Switching back up. Aha, uh -huh, and we see that the boulder right here has blocked the flow of water. Now this water, as you can see, is really, really choppy, so you can't surf on it. I believe this is the, like, down south of this is actually the Cinnabar Island side of this island. So... What the... Hmm. Danger, fast current. Oh, we can surf on this water here, and I think there might be rare items. Oh, darn it, I can't go that way. Maybe I can go this way. Setting up a super repel. Oh, I know where this is. Ooh, there's something over there, but I can't reach it because the tides, man, the tides. Ugh. I think I've gone a little bit nuts on Seafoam Island because I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. Okay. I think we use strength here. Push these boulders back back. Push this one down. Okay. Careful not to push that too far. Go here. Push that down. Push that more. Push this other one down. I'm not even looking at the instructions for this dungeon. I'm just doing this willy-nilly. See, this leads me back up here. Ooh, an item. One big pearl. Nice. Easy money. I should really sell those, because I have an overabundance of big pearls, I think. Big pearls. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Just sounded weird saying that, so... At this rate, I'm gonna run out of repels. I only got two left. Gotta take really careful steps. Okay, so that's where I am now. So if I go up here, this leads me back to the top floor of Seafoam Islands again. Okay. Hmm. Okay, if I'm down on this floor now, I think I want to take that down ladder. Mm, let's take this one. Nope, I want the other ladder. Okay, going south here. Oh yeah, by the way, 50th episode of my Let's Play is about to come out. I'm not counting the, like... I'm, I'm counting the actual numbered episodes, not the, like, half episodes or the like. But, yeah. 50 episodes, and I want to do something special because... Hmm, not many Let's Plays make it to 50 episodes. Uh, especially not, like, new Let's Players who have no idea if this is what they actually want to do. So, I want to do a special video, but I don't know exactly what to do. 
So, I'm gonna ask you guys for your opinions. What do you think I should do for a special video? Something you guys want to see? Be sure to comment in the comment section down below because, well, that's the only place where I actually hear you guys talking. <laughs> oh man, I forgot to put up a repel. Stupid Zubats. Down to one repel, guys. This is getting serious. Hmm. Okay, and I think I want to use this ladder here. Hmm. Oh, that. <laughs> gosh darn it. Rem oh, gosh. We can finally surf across this water now, because two boulders are blocking that rough patch of water. Tell me there's a hidden item here. No, it's just an odd patch of water... <laughs> water ground that you can walk across. Wait. Nope, the items are still not there. Okay. <laughs> okay, sure, fine. Whatever. But yeah, finally surf to here. Go up this ladder. Go up this ladder. And... Up this ladder? Wait a minute, this leads me back to the C Cinnabar? At least you can go through the Cinnabar Island side to get to where you want to go. But that's not where I wanted to go. I want to go to the next floor. Uh, you can tell this is going to be a long episode because, yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. As the usual dictates. I think I want to go down this down ladder. I'm going to take my chances. Okay. Now I'm here. Oh wait, I can get across the water now. This is brilliant! Yeah, see, because the two stones there are blocking up the water. I wish I knew where all the items were in this place. Maybe I'll get to them on the way out? Question mark? I don't know. But anyway... What the heck is this? Ah! Do I have to put a repels for every stinking turn? Well, out of super repels, guys. Hmm. Wonder what this Pokemon is. Guess we'll find out the next time on the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. It's actually a shorter episode than I made you guys believe, didn't it? Didn't I? This English doesn't work, apparently. So, I think we'll end it off here so that we can face this strange looking frozen turkey in the next episode. This is Laurel Evies. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos covering Pokemon Leaf Green. Every little bit helps. I enjoy the encouragement. Also, be sure to check out the places in the video description below for other places on the internet for my channel to let me know that you guys are listening and to get the latest updates from me. So, thank you so much for watching yet again, and see you all next time.